Welcome to Spice and Pens. Subscribe to our channel for our recipes weekly. Hi and welcome to Spice and Pens. Today I'm going to show you this dish known as clay pot rice. But I, I'm cooking this uh, inside a rice cooker, so this is going to be very simple. Okay. Um, introducing to you the ingredients. I have with me over here a two and a half cup of rice, which I actually uh, washed and drained already. Two and a half cup of water over here. Um, some uh, xiao bai cai or, or bok choy over here. Okay. Uh, one piece of a uh, Chinese sausage which I've soaked in hot water and uh, took out the skin and cut into pieces like this. Okay. Um, one piece of this uh, salted fish that's already marinated in oil. You can get this from uh, any provision shop or grocery store. Okay. I've actually cut them out into small pieces like this. Um, I have with me also um, over here the dried version of the salted fish. Okay, this I'm going to later uh, dry fry them until crispy. One teaspoon of uh, ginger, half a teaspoon of this uh, sesame seed oil, half a teaspoon of this saucing wine or Chinese cooking wine, one tablespoon of this uh, oyster sauce, two, two teaspoon of this uh, tapioca flour or corn flour. Five uh, dried mushroom which I've uh, soaked and cut into pieces like this. Um, 600 grams of chicken over here. Um, I'm using a spring chicken over here, but if you want it to be boneless, you can actually go for boneless chicken thigh and cut it. Okay. Okay. Um, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cook this, uh, put this inside the rice cooker together with the water and let it cook first. Put the rice in. I'm using a. Um, Thai fragrance rice over here. It's important to good, use uh, good rice for this dish. And the same amount of uh, water, which is two and a half cup or so. Okay. So this one we'll put it to cook. And um, approximately about three quarter through, we'll put the rest of the ingredient in. Okay, let's, all, let's just put this to cook first. I'm going to marinate the chicken right now. Um, if you to see the, the sauces that I'm using to marinate the chicken, part of it consists of a um, this ginger juice over here. Um, if you eat it outside, uh, most people actually cook it without this, but I feel this actually accentuates the taste. It brings out the fragrances of the chicken as well as the rice. So I'm going to add it in also. So in goes my chicken, the mushroom also, oyster sauce, half a teaspoon of this uh, sesame seed oil, half a teaspoon of this saucing wine, the ginger juice, approximately about one. Uh, tablespoon as well as the tea, two teaspoon of uh, corn flour so mix all this up well and let them marinate while you're waiting for the rice uh, to be cooked so while the rice cooking all depending on what kind of rice cooker you use um, my rice cooker takes about 45 minutes to actually cook rice but depending on what kind of rice cooker you, you use approximately about three quarter through then we'll add in the um, the rest of the ingredient which includes the chicken marinade the um, Chinese sausage and the vegetables actually. We are going to fry the um, dried salted fish now. Just a little bit, tiny bit of oil. I just want to crease it up a little bit but I don't want it to be too oily also. So at low heat, actually dry fry the dried version of the salted fish. Okay, I don't want to burn this. I just want to crease this up a little bit and bring out the fragrance. So now you see that it's gone into a golden brown and it's time to actually dish it up. A little bit of oil in, into a pan. I'm going to fry the Chinese sausage. If you don't want to fry the um, fry it this way, you can, you can use your air fryer if you want to. Okay. A little bit of uh, chicken. You can use your air fryer to actually uh, heat it up also. No, why I'm doing this is I want to get rid of some of the excess oil that's in this uh, Chinese sausage itself and also to bring up the taste of the Chinese sausage. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of Chinese sausage that's available in the market. Okay, there's those that are, um, comes with all this wine um, and some of these are just uh, regular Chinese sausage. I'm using the wine, uh, the one with the wine type one so it actually uh, brings out more of the fragrance. Even for the dried um, Salted fish, if you want to use air fryer to do it, yes you can also, but be careful because uh, it might just fly around inside your air, air, air fryer because uh, it's, it's sliced very thinly actually. So just uh, fry this for a couple of minutes and uh, just put this aside after a while. I can see a lot of oil coming up, so they're trying to get rid of some of the oil over here. And low heat, remember. So I'm about done. 
I'm going to drain the oil off and just put this aside first. Okay, let's have a look at the rice. Okay, it's just fine. So I'm going to add in all the raw ingredients as well as the sausage and veg in. Um, this is the salted fish that's uh, inside the oil itself one. Um, so I'm going to just uh, spread this out strategically all over the rice to bring out the flavor. Okay, so here it goes. Next, I'm going to put in the chicken. Okay, everything will go in. Spread them up a little bit so they can actually uh, get cooked evenly. Now I'm going to put in the Chinese sausage which I actually fry and uh, took out some of the oil. Last but not least, I'm going to just spread the bok choy all over. Okay, and I'll close this up and uh, let it steam for approximately about 10 12 minutes or so. Okay. Right, 20 minutes has gone and uh, let's have a look. Yes, the chicken are cooked already. Um, if you notice, there's no veg inside here because uh, 10 minutes into the steaming, I actually took them out because I like my vegetable juicy and I don't want them to wilt. Okay, so what I do now is uh, I'll add in uh, two tablespoons of the dark soy sauce. Please use a good quality one because this will actually affect the taste of your clay pot dish. And remember the salted fish that we fried just now? I'm just going to spread some of this in also. And I'm going to actually mix them all together. If you like your rice darker like us, um, I'm going to add in one more tablespoon of this uh, dark soy sauce. This dark soy sauce is actually not very salty, but it gives a very nice, uh, impart a very nice fragrance to the rice actually. So, just going to do this and just going to mix them up again. Once you mix it up well, it's time to serve them. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen chicken clay pot rice cooked in a rice cooker. I hope you like our dish. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.